Today on Alaskan Ballistics, we have another 6.5 Creedmoor barrel length velocity test for you in the misty rain with the Garmin chronograph that seems to be working well in the rain. And we got 129 grain SST. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. I hope you are doing well today. We've got another barrel length test for you. We've got the 28 inch barrel, 24 inch barrel Bergara, 22 inch barrel Savage, 20 inch barrel Kimber, and 20 or 18 inch barrel Aero Precision down there. And we are going to be shooting the 129 grain SST. Most of you know I don't like this ammo because it pretty much blows up. It's super shock tip or super sucky tip because it just blows up on heavy game. A lot of people like it for white tail. I've had it blow up on white tail. So it's a, it's a varmint round in a deer weight is essentially is what I call it. Non-bonded ballistic tips tend to be that way. But that's not the issue today. People can debate me on that in the comments. I, I do think, like, if you use SST exclusively, you're pretty much an unethical hunter. If you use it for anything bigger than, like, Florida and Alabama white-tailed deer, that kind of thing. So, anyway, Gar Garmin Chronograph, five different barrel lengths. Let's get started. All right, we've got this SST 129 grain. It's supposed to be going 29.50 on the box. It is super performance. And sometimes those super formats really do get that on the box, so there is that. All right, here we go. Twenty nine sixty eight. We finally got a box velocity. <laughs> Twenty-nine eighty. We're, we're gaining a little bit in this long barrel, not as much as we thought we would. This is a twenty-eight inch barrel. Twenty-nine ninety-four. Good. So, on average, a little bit over, maybe twenty thirty feet per second over the box on average. All right, so here we go. We got the HMR 24 inch barrel. Let's see how it does. 29, 24, so just below what the box says. 29, 13. It's sighted for 300 yards, so it's hard to aim at this 40 yard target low every time 29.53 so just below what the box says with the hornady super formats in a 24 inch barrel maybe, maybe hornady's using a 26 inch barrel so they've used stuff like that before all right here we go 22 inch barrel savage 28.80 that's not bad not bad velocity loss considering Nine nineteen. So it's got some spread there. Twenty nine twelve. All right, let's try this twenty inch barrel. Twenty eight eighty seven. Twenty nine thirty. Again, not not consistent, but did like it. Twenty nine twenty six. So again, the twenty inch barrel of this Kimber is performing really well in velocity for its for its length. It's getting about the same, if not more, than our twenty two inch Savage. It's been that way throughout all the tests. I'm going to hand them off to my cameraman. We're going to spray them down with oil. All right, here we go. We've got three rounds in this magazine and 18 inch barrel aero precision. 2765. 27.77. 2774, so pretty consistent out of the aero precision. Uh, and again, about a 175 to 200 feet per second velocity loss off of our longest barrel. 
So that's about what you can expect with the 18 inch barrel. 308 doesn't do that. 308, you might lose 50, 75 feet per second between a 22 and a 20, 18 inch barrel, that kind of thing. But 6.5 Creedmoor being a little bit more overboard definitely loses some. Anyway, let's look at the stats here. All right, there we go. We're gonna go, those three were the 18 inch barrel. These three were the 20 inch barrel. These three were the 22 inch barrel. These three were the 24 inch barrel. That's pretty good. And these three were the 28 inch barrel. It's almost 3,000 feet per second from a 130 grain Creed mortar. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, I'll make you an add up slide, show you all the things there, and this video will be over. All right, so here's our add up slide, as I like to call it. And it will show you all the numbers, so feel free to pause it. I do think it's just interesting how much between 20 and 28 inches there's not that rate of a difference but 18 inches it really just drops off with what we're using today but why you think that is the case in the comments thanks for watching godspeed and good hunting to all of y'all make sure you check out our twitter x feed at ak ballistics and our arms directory and our miwi pages god bless take care we will see you at the range Thank you.